G'day. In today's video, I've been looking at a fairly new AM5 build. This particular one, if we can zoom in enough, I'll be able to read it. It's a B5, uh, B650, where are we? Gaming X AX. And this particular one, I've been driven slightly mad with it. Been using a post speaker hooked up to the motherboard. And it's been refusing to post for me, display for me, do anything, except display the right hand LED, which I believe if I try and read it is for DRAM. I've tried a different stick of RAM. I've tried no RAM. No RAM should get this squealing at me saying there's no RAM installed, but it still produces this LED. I since used the BIOS, uh, the QFlash Plus, flashed the BIOS on it, and that made no difference whatsoever with the new BIOS. I also tried a completely different motherboard, which is this one here, which is an ASRock Pro RS, which was producing the, virtually the same error message. It had LEDs down, if I can remember where they are, along this section over here, and it was also stopping at CPU and DRAM. And from there, I've tried a different processor in here, which this one here is a, is a 7600. This one here was a 7600X. With the 7600 installed, this is now posting. I'm almost 100% certain if I do the same and take out the 7700 in this and put in the 7600, this is gonna post. I suspect that the memory controller on the processor has failed and in turn that's why it's producing the memory light even though the RAM itself is perfectly fine. So I have tried a completely different board, different RAM configurations, even different RAM altogether, different power supply and different motherboard and the only thing that's made any difference whatsoever is the processor. So a quick test I would suggest for you if you're playing at home and you're experiencing this error right now is get your hands on one of those little post speakers. On most motherboards, they connect to a port that says speaker, usually four ports. It has two wires, it plugs into here. And what I would do to make sure that it's not your RAM and it's potentially your CPU, put that in, turn the computer off, and take out all the sticks of RAM in the computer, as this should make the, make the uh, post speaker that you've connected produce a constant beep, essentially saying no RAM, no RAM, there is no RAM. So if I just jump this here, like that, we've got it sitting on RAM, and right now, I would typically expect this speaker to be going crazy. If this speaker's not going crazy, it could be the memory controller on your processor. Anyway, hopefully this information helps someone out there. And I'll catch you guys later. Well, one other tip before I leave. If you do install different RAM, you may have to wait up to about five minutes before the board actually properly starts, especially if it's a brand new build. Do note that. Otherwise, if it's an old system like this one, or not even an old system, this B650 board was only about a two day old computer getting used. And then all of a sudden it crashed and had not wanted to start since. So make sure you chase up on your warranties. With the processor removed, I've got the old suspected faulty one here, I've got the suspected faulty B650 motherboard right here, and I've got the new Ryzen 7, Ryzen 5 7600 in here. This is what this speaker should sound like. Let's look at the LEDs. That's what should be going on if there's no RAM in your processor or no RAM in your motherboard. If you're not getting that kind of beep at all with just the processor and no RAM, there's something else going on.